Okay, we are about late. About ready. Yeah, sorry I'm late. I had some stuff to do. And was trying to get something to work, but it wasn't working. So I'm going to have to do that after. Let me get my phone going. <coughs> Alright. Go ahead and swap it over. Everything seems fine to me. Everything seems fine. We got laptop going, TV's going, uh, phone's going. Everything seems fine. So yeah, when I ended this the other day, uh, I went back to buy... Oh, right, I... Re uh, replenish the Kirk hammer it's durability and I think I spent the rest of my money on potions just to restock yeah I have like 120 in storage so that's all good so yeah last time we made it to the orphan of Kos or Kos everything's working fine okay um, so I guess we'll just continue fighting him. I got pretty close to beating him on two occasions. So, yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> we got him. We got the Orphan of Kos, or Kos. I thought I was told that there is another optional boss in the DLC that we can do. And then it's final boss. I think those are our options. Alright. Let's give it a go. Get back into the groove of it all. Okay, orphan. Time to get rid of ya. Okay, I didn't need to dodge on that attack. charge back away back away back away heal uh that worked out Back away. I was already backing away. He's also against the wall. That wouldn't have worked out well. That is so cheap. Come on, get. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I gotta get back into the groove of it. Yeah, some rounds go just as quickly where it's like, nah, you're not going to do anything today. And other rounds, I get very close. Again, I wasn't as stressed out during this fight than I was during the Ludwig fight. Weirdly enough, he feels more predictable.
try it again. Round two. Where's my stuff? There it is. I might need to heal up again. Dodging directly into him and not past him. Oh, come on. I. Fine game. Be that way. Honestly, it's just the screaming that's kind of annoying. Time to try again. Oh. Pikachu is using the mass bomb attack. It is very effective. It is so effective that I don't seem to be on screen. There, there I am. About to do attempt number three for today of Orphan of Coes or Kos. Come on. Am I close enough? No, just out of range. get hit by the wrap around and not like the actual hit take a small amount of damage fine hit oh well, it was a trade-off okay i need to time that better uh that worked out Not close enough. Heal. Yeah. Really? One hit KO from there? Thanks, game. Thanks for that. Pikachu uses mass explosion. It was super effective. Actually, Pikachu, while you're here, I wonder if you're able to use like, Mass Bomb or Mass Explosion again. See if it's gonna let you. I haven't messed with any of the settings from yesterday. But remember, midstream, 
I try to uh, up the amount of times or something. But yeah, we'll hope it works. If it doesn't, then I uh, I need to figure it out. And I don't know how. I don't know what's wrong. Mass bomb? Oh, it works. It worked again. That basically missed. Oh, come on. I dodged behind him. I need another heal. This is not a good start. This is not a good start. I also hate the camera angle, honestly. Because of my giant hammer, uh, it kind of blocks the screen sometimes. Yeah, go for a quick hit. Very nice. That's a good one for... Perfect. Heal up. Doing good. Yeah, when he does that forward jump, I don't always need to dodge. I could just keep... Uh... Just keep moving forward a bit. Seems to work out fine. The real question is, do I even notice he's going to do that attack? See? I felt... I, I, I didn't realize he was going to do that. Oh, really? I got hit by the back end. There we go, phase two. Yeah, I did not utilize it well. I was already too close. Okay, I need it. I need a heal. did not go as well. Well, I made it to phase two, though. That's progress, at the very least. And, of course, I have to keep an eye on my durability. Let's go for another attempt. So yeah, uh, yesterday I was playing some going back to Twilight Princess now that I have I can actually go and beat the game. Uh, I managed to get a few, uh, like, a, a few achievements done. 
and like I cleared out Hyrule Castle and all that. But one of them requires, uh, well actually some of them are basically the, the final boss stuff. So basically during the Zelda, the possessed Zelda one, don't get hit, only use the bottle. Uh, during Pig, Pig Ganon, don't transform into the wolf. I failed that one, but I need to, I need to do that. Knock Gandorf off his horse within 60 seconds. I, I did do that. I got that one done. Uh, distract Ganondorf with the fishing rod. That was very easy. And then for the final fight, there's like two that needed to be done. Uh, there was just a normal beat Ganondorf without getting hit. And then there was a... Defeat him while wearing the gold uh, rupee armor, but with zero rupees. I did do that one. So I got like, what, three more to do? You have the gem that lowers my durability. Uh, appa yes, apparently it lowers my durability. It doesn't outright say, like, speeds up the rate. It, it, it would imply more that it lowers max durability, but it doesn't actually do that, so... Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I'm gonna have to check uh, the hammer's durability every once in a while. Lightning. And I died. I don't know what to do here. It'll just break 50% faster, or however much it says. It says 58. It was like 58. Uh, I'll look at it. 58.7 or something like that. Here, let me look. I still have good durability. But it's uh, weapon durability down 58.5. The lightning or originates from the beach. Yeah, I know that much. It's just trying to dodge it. I keep trying to dodge into the lightning, but that doesn't seem to work. It doesn't really seem to work. Does it reach all the way to the very end? Because maybe instead of going for the attack, I need to run away. Take the fight to the water to give myself more time. Wait, what? Why would going to the water help me? It's also very hard to see the lightning attack when I'm constantly focused on him. Yeah, I get that. I guess I could go into the water for a little bit, but I don't know how much that would actually help me. Where's my stuff? I don't know where my stuff is. Let's see, how far in the water can I go? Oh, there's my stuff. Somewhere around here. Do I 
I need to just bait him to do that dash move. Okay, so now I'm too far away. Yes. Perfect. I missed. Nope. No. Get out. Oh, come on. Fine, whatever. It takes longer for the lightning attack to reach me so I can dodge it. Okay. So it's better to be farther away from the main source of the lightning attack. And then eventually dodge into it. I could put in the rune that reduces lightning specifically. Or arcane by seven. Because I currently have the just basic damage reduction by 4%. So I could equip one of these two for better lightning protection. But I honestly don't know how much that would actually help. And again, I can always go and level up to try to boost some arcane for some more magic defense. My stuff's in the water. Ah. Uh. Stuff. I shouldn't worry about it too much, but eh. Let's just say I shouldn't worry about it too much. Because I've barely done anything in this fight. Maybe we dot get away from him. Back away. I tried dodging. It didn't take. That's something. Damn it. I hate when I'm too far away. Oh, you suck. Come on. It's the worst when you timed your dodge right, but because you ran into the enemy yourself, the dodge basically fails. Ugh. Otherwise, I probably got hit by multiple currents if you're standing at the source. That's probably what's been happening. I was too close, and even if I dodge into it and dodge, like, one of them, I get hit by, like, ten others. That's probably what's actually happening. Yeah, I, I need to stop really focusing on the blood echoes, because I can just get more. I don't know, my brain's like, oh, grab the thing. Okay. Come on, charge at me. 
I'm right here. Do it. Do it. This is why you can't dodge away. Dodge towards. Sometimes you can dodge away. Again, not a fan of this camera angle. Is that enough time, or did I fail it? Nope, had enough time. Okay. I did hit him, but not with the full force. Tried dodging into it, but it didn't work out. No, that shouldn't have hit. Come on. Uh, too far away. Oh, no, never mind. too. Lightning. And I died to lightning again. Part of the problem with that was because I went for the charge shot and while I did hit him, I didn't have enough time to just dodge again. Like, my end lag was too long. It could be done if I was a little bit closer, or I need to stop going for charge when he's charging for lightning and just either hit him with a quick hit or focus on backing away and dodge the lightning instead. Look, uh, it's so tempting to go for that charge shot because it's right there. Uh, yeah, I was going to get hit by that. Nope. Let's try it. Okay, you're doing the ground one. Chip damage, but it stopped his attack. I'll take it. Too far away. If I was closer, I could have gone for a charge. God 
but sometimes my dodges won't take in time. Even though I mash it. Charge. Perfect. I might be able to make it. Yeah. He's about ready. Lightning? Okay. I got... I'm too far away. Heal up. Oh, come on! You saw, that was just right at the very edge. Come on, get... Oh, come on. Okay, whatever. Try again. I feel like that one was rigged. Truly a from soft moment. Indeed. He just he deals so much damage. He really does. It's one of those things where there's a part of me that wants to boost some defenses just to try to take better hits. But I, I'm i pretty sure one or two levels ain't going to cut it. Because it's not real. It's not really my power. It's about, like, taking some hits, you know. Uh, it's going okay, Hawkhorn Dog. Just bashing my head against, you know, the orphan. Well, other than that, not much is going on. What about on your end? See, I dodged that. Come on. Fine, I'll take what I can get. away. Miss. Dang it. Nope. Get. Uh, come. Fine. Sometimes it's just rounds like that where it just goes awful. Like nothing's working. Just like this booster pack I just opened. Try again. But yeah, if I were to level grind a bit, uh, it's either I boost Arcane. It's probably Arcane and Blood Tidge, actually. Playing Dark Souls' speedrun towards Duke Frey Freya. Because I hate that section. Ah, Spain. Not a good section, huh? Oh, come on. Really? Fine. Oh, 
I even stunned him there. God, come on. I think I'm getting worse. It's not that bad. It's just because the whole area is covered with spiders. Ah, I see. I get it. Ignore all the spiders. This is not... I, I think I'm just getting worse. But yeah, I feel like if I were to boost stats, it'd be arcane for the lightning damage. I think some of his attacks are would be blood tinge. And then and then there's also HP. It's not more the health, it's just more the health and the defense that get added onto it. Why is the Dark Souls 2? You can hold a torch and they won't go near you. Oh, that's nice. So you just held on a torch and then just ran through the entire area? I should double check my durability after this fight. Come on. Come on. I'm too far away. Damn it. What a waste. Yeah, so let me grab all zero of my blood echoes. Forward, not to the side. That would have been a great for a charge shot right there. Come you didn't find whatever. I thought because I was that close he was gonna go for the shockwave. Not throw it at me. I am wasting so many of my potions. God. And I'm dead. <sighs> and since it's a new game plus run, they added two new things to that area. Interesting. The, the boss drops a new soul instead of his base one. How would a great sword help in this game, Hot Corn Dog? Would it like stagger more or something what's my okay i can at least do one more fight and then i probably should consider repairing the weapon okay i i think i want to ask with this guy. Uh, 
a lot of his physical attacks are obviously physical damage. The lightning is obviously lightning damage. Is, like, his shockwave move or when he throws that, like, ball explosion thing, is that blood tinge damage? Great sword, ironically enough, isn't a great sword. It's an ultra great sword in other games. Huh. But is it because it would stagger probably a bit better? Because if some of these attacks are blood, uh, blood damage. Then that might help with my defenses if I boost. If I boost blood. Out of range. Ow. There you go. It wouldn't... You wouldn't take my heal. charge well I got a hidden not the one I wanted sir I'm just trying to heal I don't even know how... Okay, fine. Managing Gut Sword. You ain't exactly cutting the enemy and more slamming them with something that happens to be sharp. I see. It almost acts like a blunt weapon. Where's this at? Okay, no, I could do one more. So what are these at? Okay. So there's a lot of blood defense and blood defense on these right here. Well, actually, this one's pretty balanced. This one's pretty balanced. A little less bolt and arcane resistance, but... Is there something that's a little balanced? Balanced a little bit better? Well, yeah, maybe that. Well, he uses... He's not using lightning until phase two. Not that it would make that much of a difference. I still need to read Berserk. Or watch the old anime, not the 2016 one. <laughs> but if I remember correctly, the old anime doesn't even get to... Like, it stops after a certain point. Koss, I've come to bargain! 
I see you're not a fan. Yeah, that was a terrible time to try to go for a charge. Perfect. That, oh my God, like I couldn't get away. I think I need to repair my weapon. The, the two things they added was the normal human enemy was just a normal human enemy and the second thing is the bosses actually appears earlier than where the arena is you could do damage to the boss and any damage done will be transferred over to the actual boss oh okay no we could do another his name is orphan cause is the dead thing that's came out of oh okay so I call him Batman Martha. Ah, I see. Okay. Wasn't sure. Maybe that's why he's angry. I kept calling him <laughs> by cost <laughs> and not Orphan. Although, Orphan's not much better. Hey, you, person with no parents that, you know, doesn't love you. Yeah, you, you parentless freak. Get over here and take my hammer. See, I mean, that would probably make anyone mad. See, I'm pretty sure I just made a man. Was it an interesting sentence to walk in on? Yeah, pretty much. Th those were words that were indeed said by me. And, of course, will be taken out of context and spread all over the internet. Damn it, out of range. Listen, I'm just trying to smash this... A smash with a giant hammer, this parentless orphan. Is it so difficult to ask to just take this hammer and hit him with it? And heavy attack. Killed me. Okay. Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1. 
Elden Rain, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 2 and 3, Demon's Soul. Haven't played that one, nor Sekiro. Well, played God of War 1. I call that close enough to Sekiro. Yeah, is it though? I, as someone who has not played God of War, I, I don't think it, it's close. I gotta repair this weapon. Back to Hunter's Dream. If I'm only gonna repair the weapon, I am going to just go to the level grinding area, get a bunch of EXP, repair the weapon, buy potions. If I want some EXP, I'll go to that other dungeon. Maybe I'll go back to that dungeon right there and get a little bit of EXP to get maybe a level or two. Boost some of my defensive stats. <laughs> I play Uncharted 4. That's close to, That's close to Sekiro. I played Uncharted 4 too. Is that close to Sekiro? I don't know, but it but is it? I, I I'm pretty sure Uncharted is very close to Sekiro, right? Right? It is, isn't it? Uncharted 4 was pretty good. Uh, I actually platinumed Uncharted 1. Wait, uh, I need to go up here. And I think in Uncharted 2, I did most things other than this, basically the speedrun stuff. Uh, and then buy potions. Yeah, I'm gonna gain a little bit of EXP. It was the only game you owned for two weeks until you got Fallout 4. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have the PS4 collection of 1 through 3, and that's how I first played it. Pretty good. Pretty good. And, and like I said, I did Platinum Uncharted 1. But I think all I need to do with 2 is basically... Basically, I need to do the speedrun stuff. And maybe I have to do, like, the hardest difficulty, I think. Not 100% sure. Like, it's been a while since I looked. I also just haven't been in the mood to go back and play it. Now, like, what? One more kill will probably... No, not one more kill. I gotta get a few. Game ain't that hard until the higher difficulties. It's a lot of QTE and puzzles, so it's not too bad to burn time. Yeah, exactly. But, uh... After a certain point, the higher difficulties, it just becomes mind-numbing because it's not really difficult. It's just more of like, oh, they just kill you in one hit. Thanks, because you make one mistake, you know? I think it just kind of got annoying after a little while when you're trying to do harder difficulties. Okay, I'm 
can fight the giant rats. I have to go back down this ladder. Once read a book over and over again, because it was the only. Uh, it was the only one you brought to a vacation. Oh, yeah, that, that sounds about right. It's like, well, I gotta kill time somehow. I just want to gain a level or two. Or at least, you know, just at least just one. With some of my defenses. It's been a couple of years since you played Uncharted 4. Yeah, when you play a game that many times, it'll probably take a while to uh, basically clear the burnout. And I'm dead. What a waste. Now, with games you like, sometimes you just need to give it a few years before you're like, yeah, I'll play that again. It's like it's like that with, like, Paper Mario for me. You're like, yeah, it's been a few years. I'll play it again. It's only my 20th playthrough or so. <laughs> You've beaten the game so many times you play it when you're burnt out on others. Fallout 4 is what Minecraft is to others. Yeah, I see. Well, at least with, like, Fallout 4... Or just Fallout games in general. You could do different types of runs. Right? Like, you could play the game with, like, a different weapon or something. Kind of like this. You know, be like, oh, I haven't played Bloodborne in a while. I'm going to play it. But I'm going to use this weapon I didn't use before. Actually, uh, Pokemon is kind of like that. Like, oh, I haven't played this, like, I haven't played Gen 3 in a while, but I'm going to use a different team I don't use, you know, stuff like that. Got my stuff back. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Perfect. We got another rat. That was the last rat. Oh, is there another rat? Oh, there is. There's one behind the coffin. I tried. Charge. Help if I don't miss. It's too bad this guy doesn't really get staggered. Okay, good, got him. One more rat. There we go. And what was this? What? How come I didn't get that last time? 
Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that the one with time travel, or is that the one where you find out Voldemort's past? That's the second one. The one where his uncle breaks out of jail. Yeah, Alcatraz. The time travel Alcatraz one is is three. Wait. Man, I don't know how it got to. Oh, okay. Wait, a minute. I didn't go far enough. You're walking where armor can't. I must have. I missed some stuff. Uh, what was the book? Oh, I didn't see that. It was Harry Potter three. You were like seven. It went to Hawaii. Ah, okay. I obviously missed that part. Yeah, three is the one with Alcatraz and uh, time travel. And sorry, sorry, I clearly missed, like, a text in there somewhere. I'm like, what the hell? How'd you get into this conversation? Okay, I should be able to level up at least one stat. That's somewhat helpful. You know what? Get a couple more kills. Nah, for me, whenever I went on, like, a road trip or something, I had my... Basically, I had my Game Boy Advance. And I'd be playing that. And luckily, because, you know, you get, like, one of those carrying cases, I could just carry, like, all my Game Boy Advance games with me. So it wasn't like, oh, I need to just bring the one game I'm going to play the entire time. Swap stuff. And eventually it was DS. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm just going to point out that I think I'm at the point with levels where... Just getting the, oh, what, like doing the EXP grinding exploit, just doing that once probably isn't enough to get me a level anymore. Probably have to do, at, do that at least two times to get a level. You didn't get game consoles until you were 11. It was super old ones from the thrift store. Uh, I had a few, like. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna repair the hammer again. It won't take much. I know when I was younger, I don't know whose it was, but I played a little bit of, like, Sega Genesis. It wasn't mine, but I got to play that a, a little bit. Sonic 2. It was Lion King. I think it, I think there was Batman and Robin? I don't know. It was, it was weird. Oh, yeah, physical defense is only going up by one. I mean, boosting arcane would just boost magic defense. Right? That's what it would do. Well, how come the arcane stat is not going up when I adjust it? Uh, wait, Dark Souls 2, after the next game. Skip one. It's the most boring one. Had N64 with Ocarina of Time and Star Wars. Yeah, so I had a, I had a 64 as well. Uh, I had... Okay, what were the games that I personally had? Because there were some games I went to friend's house. And, like, one friend had, like, the two Pokemon Stadium games. And a different friend had... Uh, a different friend had... What was it? Oh, I needed less EXP than I thought. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I had Mario Kart 64. I'm trying to think. What else did I have that I mainly played? I would have to look at my list. I have to look at what I had. Because I have some games, but I haven't even 
I still haven't even booted it up. Okay, that's like... Oh, well, that's like three defense right there. I boosted twice. Huh. Okay, well... Let's try to get this to 30. Farewell, good hunter. I think the rest of my money is going to potions. Okay, so I misjudged how much EXP I actually need to level up. No, like one level grinding exploit gives me like two levels. Maybe only one. You owned a PS1 and you remember owning the Army Man games. Oh, like the Sergeant, what was it? The Sergeant's Heroes games? I know some of them are on N64. Uh, I know I have. I know I have other N64 games. Oh, I have Pokemon Snap. I played that a lot. Problem is, some of the games I had, I probably sold. And some of the games I have now, I know I didn't have when I was a kid. I bought them later. Uh,. Like, I've dabbled, I got to dabble with, like, Donkey Kong 64, but I didn't own it. Paper Mario was a game I, a friend had for a little while, and I played it there. Like I said, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 were at friends. Smash Brothers was at a friend's house. Actually, none of my friends actually had Mario 64. Ocarina of Time was later. I didn't play that until the GameCube. And even then, I didn't finish it. Uh... I have Goldeneye, but I've never played it. <laughs> I had Snowboard Kids. That was one that I had. Yeah, it's Snowboard Kids. Like, I have Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie, but I played... I didn't play either of those games until high school. Like, after the fact. I was at a friend's house, he had them, and I tried them out, and they were fun. With my experience with the N64 was playing a lot more at friend's house than my own 64, and that did not last long. You have Majora's Mask 64, DK64. Very nice. I still have my 64. It it does work. It might take a little bit to turn on, but it still does work. Came with Madden football, but you never touched it. Hate that the the area first time around went there immediately after killing the gargoyles and spent the next four hours exploring there before spending another two hours trying to escape and towards Sen's fortress. I'm assuming you're talking about Dark Souls. Sergeant's Heroes games. You own the first one. And then knock of it series where the you are a toy helicopter. Interesting. Uh, I know I didn't play any of the Mario Sports games until later. I own Mario Tennis. I got to try it out for a little bit. I bought it, like, a few years ago. But I think there's something wrong with the cartridge because it kept crashing, sadly. Yeah, I think most of my experience with the N64 was just playing it through other, at, like, at friends' houses or renting. Other than Mario Kart. Played that a lot. Mario Kart and Pokemon Snap I played a lot at, uh, for myself. It wasn't until the GameCube where I really got to play a lot of stuff. That one, I made a deal with my stepdad where, and I, I was really young, 
where I saved up for like 50 bucks and he paid for the rest sort of thing. I saved up that 50. Got Pokemon Coliseum with it. My, my brother had... I don't know how he got it, but he got Melee and he got Sonic Adventure 2. I played those two a lot. Eventually, I got like the other Sonic games like Sonic Adventure 1, Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog. I had a friend who had Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I borrowed that. Eventually, I bought my own copy and wow, this did not last. I, again, I think I'm just getting worse. Played a lot of, Nar of the Naruto Ninja Council games. Or, not Ninja Council. Clash of Ninja. Because my brother had the first one. And I think I've rented out the second one a few times. After N64, you got... PS2 and got Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I don't know how I got a PS2, but eventually I end up getting a PS2 and uh, my parents got me Kingdom Hearts 1 and Jack and Daxter. For some reason, Kingdom Hearts 1 wasn't working. Like, something was wrong with the disc, I think. So I had a GameCube and a PS2 at the time. Too far away. Am I close enough? Nope. I get the full charge shot in and he hits me, but I hit him anyway. I get basically most of my health back. So it's a it's a decent trade-off. damage, I'll take it. It stopped his attack. I missed. He's about ready to transform. There it is. died to his attack. I survived the thunder. Okay, hold on. PS2 had a time. Do I still have my PS2? 
I could summon. So far, I have beaten every boss without summons. I kind of want to keep it that way. Uh, second, I'm stuck on the boss. But then... Yeah, I still have my PS2. Sadly, though, it doesn't work. Uh, a couple years ago... Uh, first of all, a couple years ago, I had to get it fixed because it scratched up my copy of Persona 4. Because the ribbon where their laser is, uh, I think got loose and needed to be re-glued, but it scratched up my, P my Persona 4 copy. So I had to get that fixed. And eventually I did get it fixed, but for some reason it doesn't, it doesn't even work anymore. It turns on, but it doesn't read any discs. So I think what, what's going on is the laser needs to be replaced. So sadly, my PS2 doesn't work anymore. You can already tell this run's going very well. See, you know, it's the runs where you don't really get to do anything. If I get too frustrated, I could summon you. I guess right now, uh, I've beaten every boss so far by myself. And I think I want to try to keep it that way as much as possible. I'm a lone wolf, clearly. But again, isn't there another boss in the DLC that I missed? I defeated... I, I, I just so I defeated uh, Ludwig. I defeated the 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 failures, the little alien things. I beat Maria, and that's it. Lawrence, no, that doesn't sound familiar. Come on. I was not that close. I don't know how he's escaping some of these attacks. First area with the hunters, and I see the cathedral, so now there's a boss in, in the cathedral? Oh, okay. Is the other thing easy, easier or harder to beat with a lock on? Shall we go fight the other boss? Maybe I'll give Orphan a few, tr few more tries. And when I need to go repair my hammer, we'll go check the other boss. Batman is awesome. Imagine it just made Orphan how cool they are. I, I guess true. Are you saying this guy's going to be Batman? No wonder I'm failing.
Batman, I've come to bargain. of Mar Martha Wayne, I have come once more! You know, I'm looking at my game... Oh yeah, I'm looking at my GameCube games. Yeah, I had Super Mario Sunshine, a friend gave me that. I don't know why, maybe he didn't like it. I also had Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. That was another game that I had. Some of these games that I have, I got later. Yeah. You know, some of the GameCube games that I have, like Metroid Prime or, uh, or like Tales of Symphonia GameCube or uh, Mega Man Network Transmission, I got more recent years. But other games like Thousand Year Door or Luigi's Mansion or Kirby Air Ride, I got. I got some time during high school, but during high school was like the end of the Wii, beginning of the Wii U era. Actually, no, end of the Wii era. Wii U was like just after high school for me. I missed my opportunity. Never prepared for it, because it that's like the second time that's happened. Fortnite Battle Royale? Isn't that just free to play anyway? Or is there something I'm missing? What's my durability at? We're still good. Still good on dude. Oh, another game that I had was uh, Billy Hatcher. It was a, a game made by Sonic Team. It's a little weird. I, ha I have it, though. I remember getting so frustrated at, like, the fourth world, I believe. Because it was like a circus world, and I couldn't get past, like, a certain section. It's a weird game. It's a game Sega's never going to bring back. And do I want them to? Try again. No harm in it.
Come on, hit him. I hate when my charge attacks is just out of range. There we go. That that's how we do it. Cell is in Fortnite. You know how there's a meme about Cell being a black basketball player. Never heard that one. They just added Air Jordans Fortnite. So you could play as Basketball Cell now. No, I have not heard about Cell playing basketball. That is not something I heard. But you could give Cell some Air Jordans. That's hilarious. I'm pretty sure I still have good durability, so we'll just go in and try again. Like I said, when I need to go repair uh, the weapon, we'll go try this other boss. I don't know if it's easier, but we'll try it. Come on. Now, I'm dead. This is not annoying. Now I, now I feel like I'm starting to get the starting to get a little annoyed it, it's mostly because i feel like i was doing better uh on tuesday <laughs> and i feel like i just got worse where are we at 170 okay it seems like the durability goes down when you miss when you like hit a rock or something it, like it doesn't feel like it goes down nearly as much if you actually hit the enemy And you know it. Too far away. I honestly feel like I'm just getting worse. I'm making like no progress. Oh no. Yeah. That's about right. Sonic Adventure rival boss fights. This is not. <laughs> Those fights are a joke, by the way.
Yeah, specifically the fights where it's like, oh, you're fighting against Knuckles. You're fighting against, like, Gamma. Those fights are jokes. <laughs> they really are. The AI is not that good. You know, in Sonic Adventure 2, uh, some of the boss fights were a little bit harder, but I didn't realize until later how, like, the AI is still not that great. <laughs> <laughs> At least for some of the fights. Nope. Oh my. Seriously, I think I'm. I think I'm getting worse. I'm off today. I don't know why. But it's time for a battle. I got a Glock in my Rari, A17 shots, no 38. Don't know what that means, hot corn dog. Don't know what that means. If it's gonna help against Orphan, that'd be nice, though. I hope- I, I, I hope that would actually help against Orphan. Is that- is that- is it gonna help me? You know who has? Those things, Shadow the Hedgehog. He would help me, maybe. I don't know. He's a little too edgy. Nope, too far away. You know, I'm just gonna point out, in a fight between Orphan and Shadow the Hedgehog, I think Shadow the Hedgehog would actually win. It as if he has a chaos him. Oh, actually, even if he doesn't have a chaos him, well, he still runs at the fastest at the speed of sound. So yeah, I'm just pointing that out here. Song that's played when the basketball cell meme is shown. Oh really? Okay. Stream, Stream Labs is cheating. This orphan is just cheating as well. Hot corn dog, you you forget. This is the rigged emote. Hey, Lord Jefferson, how's it going? Uh, just kind of fighting Orphan. That's it. <laughs> and I'm getting worse. Oh, you know what? Back away. Do that. Yeah, pizza for dinner? Very nice. I'm not sure what I'm doing tonight. I may have to cook. I may pick something up, I'm not sure. What? Somehow didn't get hit by that. I'll take it. No complaints. I hate when I get hit by the back end right there. Like the end of the attack.
I survived. I survived the lightning. Heal. Thank you. Gonna jump again. Hey, okay, lightning. I don't know where he is at. Charge, charge, charge. Visceral. Get out of here. Who needs help? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, let's go. Orphans with his family now. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm done with you. I'll talk to you in a second. Okay, oh, <laughs> what the hell? Kill the black ghost. Oh, we'll allow it. Auto mod try to hit you, Lord Jefferson. Common oh Scott W. Orphan of Wayne ain't shit. Yeah, yeah, Batman is not needed in this world. Not in this one. Let's see. Uh, courtesy of our chefs. And pizza. Great. Lord Jefferson, pizza does sound good right now. Even though I just had it, like, over the last weekend. Turn. Oh. I see why the auto mod went off, Lord Jefferson. I see why. Uh, it was the auto mod was uh, looking at your message, and uh, it was the term uh, "get rid of that ghost" part of that sentence, and that's why it went auto mod. Can I? Can I? That. There we go. Get out of here. Oh hey, oh cutscene. Yeah, I allowed it because in context, I get what you were saying. I allowed it, but Automod caught it. Sweet and it says, it. I added permitted term. And it says what the term I allowed. And it just says basically your sentence, but remove the ghost part of that. I think my dog needs to go outside. Automod making things awkward? It is making things awkward. Grab my stuff. All zero of it. I'm going to go back to Hunter's Dream. And I got to step away for a minute. Molly needs to go outside. Automod making things very awkward. It ignores context. I freed the hunters. Good on me. Uh, 
Okay, so give me a second. I gotta step away. I think Molly needs to go outside. BRB. Okay, I am back. Let me see what's going on. Let me swap this over as well. I free the hunters. Automog crazy. Uh, DC should take some notes. Superman should kill Batman so Gotham is no longer filled with evil. Exactly, that's how it's gonna work. <laughs> Whatever happened to the Cape Crusader? Yeah. I, yeah, I kept calling the orphan Cos, 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 and it's, it's more of we just call him orphan because it, that, that, yeah, made the analogy, uh, you made the comparison that I was just calling Batman Martha, so since then we've been calling him Batman, <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's exactly what's been happening. So, let me repair my weapon. I should be able to level up. And there's one more boss of the DLC, right? Gammon awaits. Go on. Very well, let me. Yeah, and I'm gonna continue working on my magic defense. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Uh I am told. I was told that in the first area that go to the Great Cathedral. For some reason, there's a boss there now. So I need to go... Actually, just Hunter's Nightmare will do it. Like, in, it's in the same arena as Amelia? Also, I find it interesting that that Amelia is the only boss so far that has actually healed. I actually had the ability to heal her wounds. So, like, Nummy Miss would be only good in that fight. 
big fire monster that was holding the key earlier. I didn't see anything like that. Wait, I was told... In the same spot where Amelia was. So I'll head there and see how it goes. Gonna have to get rid of all of you first. Who knew, like, to beat Orphan, I needed just two levels to boost my defense ever so slightly. In all reality, the two defense po the two level ups probably didn't actually make that much of a difference. I probably just got very good in in that moment, got pretty lucky, and not get like trapped in corners or anything. Yeah, I'm told it's in here. Unless I miss misunderstood. So, did I, did I misunderstand? Is it in here? This is where the eye was. Talk to the big fire doggo. This, is this a big fire doggo? This is where I got the eye pendant thing. It's not letting me talk. So I must be doing something wrong. I need it. I need his head first. Whose head? Okay, what do I need to do? It sounds like there's a few steps to do this. The reach the research hall. Okay, I think it'll be faster to it'll be faster to do this. And then go back to Hunter's Dream. The research hall. Okay. There is a section I didn't really get to explore, I think, because there is a hunter there that I didn't get to end. Research hall. I basically just ended up going straight to the boss. Take the elevator down. So turn around. Is what you're saying. Would it have been faster to just go to the Ludwig room? Okay, I'll take the elevator down. And then I'm going on the elevator, but roll up. Oh, it's below here. I see. Honestly, that could be easily missed. I can see why. 
Lawrence's skull. Okay. Now I need to leave. Now I need to go back to the fire doggo. Yeah. Yeah, I can see why that... It's weirdly hidden, but it's not... It's not something where it's, like, super, like... Like, you could put two and two together to check something like this. But yeah, I, I do think it can be easily missed. And there's no hint to it, is there? You just have to know, right? There is a chest down there. You can ride the elevator down. Oh, I should have done that. Is it important? Because I could go back very quick. I could... Yeah, we'll, we'll, go. We'll, we'll get it. We'll grab it. Oh, so I have to go down there. Okay, whatever. Get on the elevator. Oh. When you said get on the elevator, I thought you meant just get on the normal one. We'll see what it is. It's some treasure. The church cannon. Let's take a look at that. So, I don't have enough blood tinge. It's a strength blood tinge weapon. It uses 10 bullets instead of, instead of 12 with the normal cannon. An oversized weapon used by the healing church. A type of cannon that fires with a curved trajectory, trajectory and creates an explosion upon impact. Originally designed f to be used by brawny men with deteriorate, uh, deteriorated brains, not for just any hunter. But the men lacked the wits to officially operate firearms, and the weapon was quietly ushered into permanent storage. Let's head back up. And we know how I feel about guns. I keep forgetting to use them. Also, I've been using the hammer as, like, my main weapon. It's kind of difficult to swap. It's kind of difficult to swap to a gun when you're using the hammer. Like, if I wanted to use a gun, I would need to do this and then use the gun I mean it's no excuse I just kept I still kept forgetting to use the gun that's still normal but there's a slight exclu excuse here okay now I go back to the fire dog thing
worst nightmare. Come on, load. Perfect. Now let's head back. Won't take long. Yeah, I grab more potions while I'm at it. I'm probably going to have to fight that giant again just to get through safely. So it seems like to fight this optional boss, you only need to beat Ludwig to have access to it. That is, if you know exactly where to go. So theoretically, you could fight the boss second. the gate, get attacked by the giant, maybe deal some damage. He feels like cut content. Hmm. Maybe it's one of those things where they were going to add another area. But ran out of time. Ran out of time, but made the boss for it. I dead? I'm dead. Dang it. Ah, these giants are kind of annoying. Was there cut content for uh, the DLC? That they just couldn't get it all done? Although if it's DLC, I feel like they could have easily just pushed it off a little bit more. Just to be able to make this other boss fit in. I don't know. I'll see when I actually get to fight the boss. You know, gotta get past the giant. He was just going to follow me and shoot me from behind or something. So, like, it's best to get rid of some of these guys so they don't follow. You. There we go. Blood gems. I don't even know if some of these blood gems are good. Yeah, you two go ahead and weaken the giant or die. Either way. the grab. I tried to get away. Well, 
Well, I got my stuff back, but I wasted way more potions just to get here. Try it again. I wonder... The problem is if I try to run past him, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna chase me down. So it's probably not a good idea. So I'm pretty sure fire's not going to work on this guy. Look, it seems like he just has a massive headache. one of those bosses where you attack the body. Oh my god, okay. He's just a reskin claret beast that's on fire. That tis why it's cut content. Oh, is this really just the Amelia fight, but on fire? Is that what this is? Yeah, it, it does. If that's the case, it does feel like it's just an extra boss for extra boss sake. I might be able to skip those three. I might be able to skip these. You, on the other hand, I should definitely get rid of. Okay. I think I gotta wait out the boulder. He has a second phase, but it's a super big letdown. Okay. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll see when I get there. Honestly, this giant is the bigger threat <laughs> right now. You know, I could, I could probably run past him. Get me through. Nope. Yeah, you know what? I probably could just run past him. As long as I enter the boss arena, save a potion that way. Or more than one potion. we go. 
Sometimes it's just trying to get around his freaking legs. Fist roll? Ah, uh, too close to the pillar. I couldn't get the fist roll, uh, the fist roll off. And I'm dead. So, maybe I can swap my armor to have more fire resistance. Not that it would matter too much, but we could focus on defense and fire resistance. Yeah, let's take a look. We want good defense. That's worse. It's 50 defense, 30 arcane, but 60 fire. It's worse arcane, and I don't... Wait, how worse is it? Going from 60 to 30. I feel like it, the... I feel like the defenses would just even out at that point. Minus 30 to arcane, but at a little bit extra in fire. I don't know. Yeah, not useful. Okay, trading off defenses for fire. Like an extra 10 fire. You know what? If it's only 10 fire resistance, then I can't... Honestly, I don't think it would make that much of a difference. Well, I could boost my arcane by a lot, but... Lower defense. You know, I have one that's a bolt resist. Okay, there's the fire one at 60, but it's bad. So I've seen a bolt resistance at 70, but there isn't one for fire at 70. You know what? I think this is probably fine as is. Let me look in here. This one ain't bad. Unless. Well, the problem is I don't know about the arcane defense. Trading a little bit of blood defense versus a little bit more physical defense. That's better. No, that lowers fire. Blood defense, thrust, but arcane goes up. Rather have that. He has a second phase, but it's, oh yeah, you already, I already read that, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know if these are gonna make that much of a difference. My defenses are the same, my fire goes up by a little bit, my arcane goes down a little bit. Charred Hunter sets are useful. Best fire resist. Do I have Charred Hunter? Hold on, let me look. What's your student, student, noble defense? Foreign. I don't have Charred. I must be missing some stuff for our armor. Huh. Unless that's. Hold on. Is that this? Nope, that's rumpled. I must be missing some armor, then. Again, I have no clue how much of a difference this would actually do. Just figured, just get what I can. And defense. Yeah, we'll do that. That's even better. Again, 10 extra defense minus 10 arcane. I don't know. Minus 20 arcane, an extra, 
an extra 10 to fire, extra 20 to physical defense. Might have to consider that. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know how many... How, how many armors I'm actually missing. But... Yeah, I must be missing some. Considering that the game is not... Has not let me buy that many. I thought the game would actually make force me to buy more armor. But no, it really isn't that much. Old Yarhim. Is that the is that the section where the, the guy on the turret kept shooting at me? Who let's be honest, I didn't actually kill the guy on the turret. He just somehow despawned. I don't know how it happened. Right. I mean, that was a weird section. You know, I'm going through Old Yarnum. And, you know, I get to the turret guy twice. And then after that, I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of level grinding. But I noticed he wasn't actually firing at me. I was really confused. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm just a little bit lucky. But then the next time I actually get up there, he's not there and he's already dead. <laughs> I was very confused. Pretty sure Hot Corn Dog was here for that. Let's try this again. Okay, Fire Doggo. Let's see if I can get... Oh, come on. Try again. I guess that was a grab? Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. Try again. Nope, nope, and I'm dead. That sounds about right. Ugh. I haven't... Sadly, I just haven't gotten that far in that fight. Kills me pretty quickly. But, like, I don't know what else I could really do. I tr I'm trying to get around it, but sometimes that fire just spreads behind him anyway. I don't know. I, I just need to give it a few more tries. Yeah, this is going well. Although I can restock. Never mind. He is a beat. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I have a gem that reduces damage against beasts? Is, do I have that equipped right now? Let me look. Yeah, I do. I can swap that out for the kin one. Oh, I could probably even swap out the physical attack one for the one with the kin one. I could I could fix that. So far, I'm, I must be doing less damage. Well, I'm here now. I might as well go ahead. I might as well go ahead and fight again. But next time I lose, I'm going to have to swap my gems around. Did anything have to drop anything? Doesn't look like it. Well, you're distracted enough. Ooh. 
Lawrence, I have come to bargain. I can't take the name Lawrence seriously. Not after you play Ratchet and Clank. You can't take that seriously. Not get. Oh, I stopped the attack. That's something. Dang it! Freaking claw slash got me. Okay, I need to go and rearrange my gems. Come on, load. Perfect. Yeah, the gem is like, no, you're doing less damage to this enemy. Why don't you change it? Let's try this. Uh, I want this one specifically. I could keep this one. It's very strong. I don't want that one. Besides, I already realized that this percentage isn't as big as I think it is. It's not affecting to direct power, so I think I'd rather keep this physical attack up. But I could equip this one to have my weapon durability better. Let's see. Blunt attack up, I could have. That is very strong. I may consider that. Firebolts. Or tinge scaling. Attack versus beast, no. That's not as good as I thought it was. One attack, arcane. Stamina comp, nope. Attack versus Kin. This is stronger. That's just generally stronger. Okay. That should do. That should do okay. What's my weapon durability at? Ooh. Uh. Well, let's go fix that. Gonna need to repair. Repair. Repair the weapon. Come on. Got to load. Again, all the rest of the money will probably just go to po probably just go to potions. You have a weapon that has six hundred due to you being a little gem gremlin and delving into dungeons. Usually it has an AR of 400. It's a Ry Ryuku. The Ryukyo? I think you might have spelled that backwards, maybe. Do I have that? Do I have that weapon? Oh, I didn't even realize this was a... This was a weapon. Interesting. When the carcass of Kaas washed up on the coast, its insides were teething with tiny parasites. 
Unlike any found in humans, this atypical weapon can only be clasped cl tight and swung, but a coast parasite is said to stimulate phantasms inhib inhibiting a lumen wood. I didn't even realize that was a weapon. But yeah, I don't have this Ryokyo weapon. Assuming that's what it is. Uh, it's found at the bottom of the well in the fishing village. You have to kill the two giant sharks. Oh, no wonder I don't have it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like fighting them. Uh, I should probably go and do that at some point. An AR of 500 or 600. AR, AR. AR. At, not attribute requirement, right? No, that ain't it. You know, right now this hammer's attack power is... What, is like a total of... I think that's a total of 580... 85 total damage on the stat sheet before the resistances. Ah. Okay. Anyway. Let me go repair this. Yeah, a few other good blood gems, and this is, al this is already almost at that 600 power. It's already almost there. They're just restocking on potions. Time to head back. All right, let's try to head back. All that's changed is the gems dealing more damage. So we'll see how much damage we get to deal to the fire doggle. To Lawrence! Yeah, I need to stop running towards them like that. Stamina. The Ryukyo is like the Blades of Mercy, but with more reach. Do I even have the Blades of Mercy? Nope. I must be missing some weapons. I must be missing some more. I'm going to try to run past the giant. So far, he's just at the door. I can't get past. There we go. You fool! All right. I've come to bargain, lords. And I've changed my gems around. You can't win! Except you can. You can totally win. Especially when I miss. I think it's a little more damage. Mutt. Oh, 
Come on, there we go. Come on. No, you keep moving out of the way. Try again. Well, I got a hit on ya. Nope, dang it. I gotta time my dodges a little bit better. I keep wanting to just immediately dodge out after I get hit to try to regain my footing. But no, I need to just time it a little bit better. Stamina back. That way I can stunlock ya. There we go. I did not waste any potions. Oh, no. Now you give me potions. Ow. Well, at least I got my health back. So it wasn't a complete loss. Uh, wasn't a complete loss. I love it when they all get hit by it. That's always the best. What are these two trying to accomplish? Are they just trying to take out the giant, or are they wanting to fight the doggo? I love how the, the giant kills them, and I get the echoes. I'm essentially kill-stealing. Well, not actually stealing the kill, but I'm just stealing the loot. Wasted potion. Oh well. Lords! I'm back! I know, you're so happy to see me. Ow! Good thing I healed. Full charge. Yes. Let's back away for a second. And it was chip damage. Uh, I'm a little lost. There we go. Better heal up. Can I do it? dead. I mean, I did a little bit better. It was a little better. Uh, is my laptop the one? Yeah, I think it's just my laptop. Yeah, because my uh, phone one seems fine.
guess a little uh my laptop went online brief offline briefly but it didn't seem like that was a stream problem that was just my laptop that's the main reason why i have my phone set up to on the stream as well reason you're a two-hit KO now. Perfect. Now to get past the giant. Get past him. Not from here. Alright, now we're good. I'm not at full health, but I have full full potions, so I'm good there. I get a full charge. That's a lot of damage. Uh. Damn it. Charge, charge, charge. Perfect. Guess I'm healing. Heal up. Charge. Potion up. Can I get it? Not full damage, but I hit her. Him. I hit him. And I'm dead. The shit add Lawrence to Fortnite. It's just a giant do weird dog thing on fire in Fortnite. Is he would he would it be the Ridley problem? Would he be too big? Have to scale them down. Yeah, I don't know what else I could do other than maybe getting a few more stat boosts with Arcane and boosting my <coughs> boosting my defense a little bit, but other than just luring the fight a bit more. I did a lot better that round, though, so that's that's useful. Wait, did you drop? No, you didn't. Okay. 
the way. Get my stamina. There we go. Wait, did any of them drop potions? Nope. Dang it. Get past the giant. Nope, I can't I can't get past him. Now I can. It's like, oh no, I'm a terrible guardian. How did I just let one run past me? Okay. These are the worst. These are the worst when you just did absolutely nothing. Hey, what did you accomplish today? Oh, nothing. <laughs> At all. This attempt was worthless. Just a waste of everybody's time. It was a waste of my time. It was a waste of your time. It was a waste of Lawrence's time. It's just a waste altogether. Time to try again. Yeah, I'll take whatever potions I can get. Throw them in storage. Probably gonna die in one combo before I can use any of my potions anyway. Oh, you went for your physical attack. That's different. I guess I got a little bit too close. Too soon. One of them's gonna drop a potion, maybe. Nope, blood gem. Dang it. I don't think any of them got hit by the boulder. Oh well. Yeah, go ahead, distract the giant. Hey, giant, I'm over here. Now I'm over here. You can't catch me. I'm too fast for you. Hey, look, my stuff is just right here. Right at the entrance. How nice. Am I getting worse? Am I getting far worse? Are all of Lawrence's attacks fire-based? Because I would think some of those claw slashes count as defense. All of them is fire-based. I thought some of those attacks might be physical-based. So that's what I was basing it on. Sorry, I'm just kind of double-checking. See if there's something better. That's what I have. And 50 defense, sure. Fire and physical. Ugh. But it seems like most of the attacks are fire-based. I could probably dodge the... The physical ones a little bit better than the fire. Fire resistance specifically. Yeah. That'll probably do. Alright, we're trying this. I think I am doing okay with dodging the physical attacks. 
It's a lot of the fire attacks that are causing problems. Uh, I'm like 10 health away from max. Oh well. It's only 10 health. And there we go. No one dropped anything. That sucks. I just lo watch this slaughter take place right here every time. It never goes well for them. That didn't go well for me either. Should definitely heal that up. Okay. I got hit by the tail end of the attack. Thought I dodged it though, but clearly I didn't. Back away, there we go. There, I made it past the first attack. Oh, I missed? I thought I got him with that. That sucks. They're going for the grab. Okay. Can I get another one in? See, it, it, unless I'm at full health, it kind of feels like I just die in two hits. And even then, when I'm at full health, I could still die in two hits. Hmm. How about I boost my stats a little bit? One or two levels. My current health, um, it's like 14, no, uh, 1155 is my max health. My physical defense is at 202. Honestly, I feel like it's not the health that I'm having a problem with. It's more of my defenses to go along with it. It helps that I have the 5% boost to HP. Could have a better boost, but oh well. Gonna go ahead and run around and see if... Uh, get some EXP. Yeah. I could. I, again, I feel like it's not necessarily the HP that's the problem. It's the defenses that I have the problem with. But yeah, I think I want to gain a couple levels. Just a couple. I don't need much. Clearly, two levels is all that I needed. For, for Batman, you know? To gain a level, I need about 40k, somewhere in there. Okay, what do we got over 
here. Potions, okay. Didn't see that. We got... Oh yeah, Quicksilver. That's done. That, that was the enemy. There's a door. I knew there was gotta be more to this place. There's a ladder. Cocktails, okay. Man, I really wish I could just light up the room. Like, there's candles here. Let me light them up. More cocktails. Treasure? Treasure. Mini treasure. Go in here. We got blood vial. That's it. It's all in this room. Guess so. Part of the reason I'm exploring this place a little bit more, uh, Jefferson, when you showed me that spreadsheet about like these dungeons to get runes. I remember seeing that this dungeon not only had the, oh, I forget which one it had, but it also had a clockwise one for more HP. So I could definitely utilize it while I'm here. Okay. Uh, there's a door. Is that the only way? I think so. Got one guy over there. Nothing here. Yeah, the dungeons have lots of goodies. Like a little gremlin. Yeah, I feel like... Some of the runes, like, I'm missing some good ones. But it seems like the good runes are in the dungeon, are in these dungeons anyway. Well, I opened the way to the boss. But that's not... I don't know if that's what I need... Where I need to go. Did I grab that one? Bullets. Potions. Okay. I think if I remember correctly, it's somewhere on this first layer. So somewhere before the boss, maybe? Although maybe I do need to defeat the boss to have access to that one. <coughs> Again, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to gain some levels anyway, so I need about 10k, maybe 20k more. All stuff for pre-bosses, yeah. I'm pretty sure I fully explored up here. I want to double check. Yeah, that was the dead end with potions. Nothing up here. Take the fall damage. Nothing here. No doors. You know, there could be another route on the way to the boss. That's not another door, is it? No. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Alright, going back there. Going back here. Back into the center room. 
There's that way. Dead ends. Nothing. Let's go. Again, I remember when I glanced at those uh, Google Sheets that you sent me the other stream. Where did you come from? That this dungeon had a HP boosting one. So I figured while I'm here level grinding, did I win? No, I did not win Hot Corn Dog. I'm, tr I'm trying to gain like a level or two then trying again. And while I'm here, I'm searching for items. Yeah, I still need to go beat the fire, doggo. Keeps killing me like two hits. So I can go farther down, or I can open this door. Oh look, spiders! Ah, uh, this room is full of spiders. Isn't this the best room in the game? Treasure! That might help. Not what I'm looking for though. Well, hi there. Hope that's the last of the spiders. Potion. Well, it's a good thing I didn't fall down there. Good thing I destroyed the little trap. Go through here. More spiders! Okay, I need to back away, heal up. Okay, nope. Back away. Heal up. Okay. Oh, my weapon's about to break. I'm gonna have to leave. here. Bullets. Nothing. And we got Dio's coffin. Clock clockwise of metamorphosis. That's what I was looking for. A 15% boost to my HP. <laughs> That's what I was here for. Well, might as well leave. Orphan of cause or Harry Potter? Harry Potter, and here's why. He be the master of the Deathly Hollows. He is death's balances now. Sages are terrifying in dungeons, right? I mean, he does have the cloak of invisibility. That is a big buff, as is. That by itself. And also, Harry Potter is a, a, a ranged fighter. So 
So that he he definitely has that to benefit. Whereas Orphan is very close to mid range. There are very few attacks where he uses to actually attack from range. Oh right. Let me go here to activate it. There we go. Look at that. More HP. What's my what's my cap at? It's only an extra 110. But it's still pretty good. I have all damage reduction by 4%. I... Is my fire one any good? Rapid poison. That's the one I have. Bolt. Arcane by seven. Oh, I don't even have a fire reduction one. So I can equip the arcane damage reduction, and that will help with the fire. That might be better. So if I boost H if I boost HP, I still get about thirty HP. And I can only level up once. Counterpoint orphan can throw the pink rocks. Yeah, but they're kind of telegraphed. And also, if Harry Potter has his invisibility cloak, he wouldn't know where to throw it. Here he was given the stone. He was in the snitch. He had the cloak from his father. And he won the wand when Harry disarmed Draco. Draco was the master of the wand. Yeah, I know that much. Yeah, I know that much. So you're saying, is he allowed to have all of the hollows? Or just one of them? What's more important? Hey, I got a question. When it comes to the... I'm still playing for a little bit, Pikachu. Um, we're fighting the fire dog. I went to level up. I got a question, though. When I... Uh... When it comes to the HP rally from healing, does that... Do I get more health if I increase blood tinge? Or is it just a flat value that goes up? Pikachu, you're missing the conversation of who would win in a fight, Harry Potter or Orphan of Koss. It's just based on health, blood vials. Okay, so that doesn't matter. Health and damage, really. So, yeah, maybe just boost HP. The extra nearly 30 HP probably outweighs the single point of arcane magic defense so yeah probably do that and you know what because i am so close to leveling up again i don't want to lose it so we're going back in kill like one enemy or two because i'm saying if if harry potter is allowed at even just one of the deathly hollows and i would argue the invisibility cloak he has a, he's a run long range fighter He's invisible. Orphan of Cos is kind of mostly close range. He has a few ranged attacks. I, I think Harry Potter would win that fight. Just need a couple more kills. Uh, one more kill to play it safe. And, you know, I made the argument of just the one Deathly Hollow. The Invisibility Cloak. That's not even counting the Elder Wand or the Revive Stone, which I'm... Pr Can't that only be used once anyway? And this is all and this is also depending on when 
Like, is this post dump uh Voldemort kill Harry that we're talking? At what point is Harry fighting uh Orphan of Cost? Because he Well, he also broke the freaking wand too, so So I don't know. Pulse Voldemort, but he didn't break the wand. Yeah, another. That's nearly 20 HP. And again, one extra point of defense. Yeah, you know what? That might be best. Dump the rest of this in potions. Try it again. He keep wand and stone. That's not keeping them as dumb. True, I guess. But again, that's the thing. He just left the stone in the forest and he snapped the wand in half and threw it under over the cliff. So in all reality, he only has the invisibility cloak. And if this is post post Voldemort, and then he's just after the fight plucked plucked out of the world and plucked into the fight with Orphan, he wouldn't have two of them. Unless it's immediately after the fight before he snaps the wand. So he could have the wand, maybe. This Again, this is the theory of, like, immediately after Voldemort, he's just plucked out of reality and just thrown into this world. So he could have the wand, but not the, not the stone, though. And again, remind me of the war. Doesn't that stone... Isn't the stone only used once? Like, it can only be used once per person or something? Like, I, I don't know the, the rules of that stone. But yeah, I think just with the invisibility cloak, he would have a chance. He would be able to sneak up up. He'd just enter the room, see him from a distance, already be invisible, and just start shooting from a distance. I, ah, uh, come on. I dodged towards him. Oh, visceral. I keep stunning you. Oh, we're on phase two. And I died. Probably because I ran out of 
stamina. The stone only summons the spirit of the ghost who you want. Great ones warp reality, but it has unlimited use. Moon presence. Harry could invis cloaks towards Kaos and then stun lock him in a backstab animation. <laughs> <laughs> Orphan wouldn't know where to attack because there's no one there. And just instantly get those visceral attacks. I mean, sure, I guess. That is something that could happen. But again, Harry probably wouldn't even try that anyway. He has he has magic. He would try to attack from range while being invisible. Hell, here's another thought. Could Harry get the ghost of Goku to help? Is Goku dead? Or is it only spirits uh, within the world that you're talking about? These are serious questions, I assure you. Because by that logic, Hot Corn Dog, he could summon Goku to help defeat Voldemort. When's the strongest Goku? He's dead during the Cell Saga? Uh, no, he's not dead during Cell Saga. He dies at the end of Cell Saga. He's, he's dead through most of Boo, though. And then comes back. So for when he dies, he summons Saitama. Yeah, that's the better option. <coughs> Assuming Saitama even fights him. He probably would, but he won't take it seriously. But yeah, uh, no, Goku is alive during all of the Cell stuff. Uh, he dies at the very end, though. That was his... That was his sacrifice. Uh, yeah, most of Boo, he's technically dead. He eventually comes back to life, though. But because Goku is, like, a good person, he gets to keep his body. So he could continue to train while he's dead. Okay, that was me being stupid. I didn't need to get close. See what I mean? Like, my god, he does so much damage. So Goku, Boo Saga's strongest Goku? Yeah, well, I mean, if we're talking original Z, then yes. Uh, I guess Super's canon, so you have stronger Gokus there. I haven't, even, although I haven't even seen Super. So, is there a point where Goku's dead in Super? I don't know if there is. So yeah, you probably would have to summon Goku. Basically, right before Boo Saga. You can't summon Saitama unless Saitama's dead. Because the whole point of this is he summons with the he summons the spirit of these characters with the the stone thing. 
But I thought it was the stone that allowed him to revive himself. So that's why I thought the stone, you know, gives you a revive. Or did I m misinterpret that whole thing? Goku's planetary by Buu Saga, right? I mean, look, if, if Vegeta can destroy a planet, and that was during Cell, hell, he destroys planet, you know, even before that. That Goku can, for sure. He just never does, because there's no point. Oh yeah, he could, he could destroy the planet during Cell. There was a point where I believe when he was targeting Cell with his Kamehameha, and everyone's like, no, if he, if he does that, the planet will be destroyed. And then he does the teleport thing and aims upward. Chatsu solos Gocho. Uh, I, 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 man, I haven't even, I, I don't even know about Jujutsu Kaisen. I haven't seen it either. There's a lot of stuff I need to freaking watch. I'm just distracted all the time. So I don't even know his freaking powers. Right, if we do this, we got it back away. Maybe I can survive. Oh, now I can't. Yeah, Chatsu has psychic powers. But, you know... All you need to do is get him to try to do math. It's very simple to beat Chaozu. Harry summons Kirby. <laughs> Kirby eats everything. Has Kirby died? No. Kirby is Kirby. No, Kirby has never died. Well, unless he eats the ghost power up and becomes Ghost Kirby. Does that count? I don't know. But that's a temporary power-up. If you could call it a power-up. But yeah, there is Ghost Kirby. Allows you to possess other enemies. I think that was only in one game, though. And again, it's technically a power-up that he could drop at any time. So is he really dead? Moon Presence, Solos, Harry, 100%. I don't know. And again, does he get his other stuff? Here's the real... That's the real question. Summons White Beard. I mean, yeah, he is dead. He can also summon Ace while he's at it. But yeah, summon White Beard. Orphan stands no chance. But yeah, this is assuming, like, the summoning spirits rule applies to like any spirit or it has to be with the spirits within that world that you're at because it's not like harry potter has been isekai to another world we won't know it's not like he also has the stone back anyway oh my god so much damage Can you... Can we not? Can we not do any of this? And I'm dead. I got grabbed. S 
so fucking cheap. I really don't like the grabs. Have I tried fighting the boss without locking on? Is it... Is it any easier? Like, I, I, I feel like it would be more annoying because I'm con I would constantly lose uh, my footing, basically. Would Orphan unalive his own mother? Would Koss unalive her own child? Would Koss and Harry get buddy-buddy? These questions... That's a good point. If it's only spirits within the world you're in, he could just summon Koss. And would the fight even happen to begin with? What would happen? These are serious questions. No, seriously, is locking on, like, actually a problem? I just feel like I would lose, uh, like, Lawrence would just get off camera all the time. And I just lose my footing. sucked. Sometimes see in the games the enemy track you easier if you lock onto them. That's why people play without locking on since some enemies struggle tracking. Really? I would not have known that. Oh, come on. Well, I'm wasting another potion. So it's almost like the enemy locks onto you as well. I just feel like I'm going to lose track of this boss more often. It wasn't really a good attempt, but I'm not really liking it. Basically, the trade-off is you... <coughs> Sorry. The trade-off is you gotta find the enemy yourself versus uh, the enemy having a harder time hitting you. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like this boss fight might not have that problem because it's huge. Probably has an easy time tracking me. So apparently the lock-on also makes the enemy lock on to you as well. I didn't realize that was even a, a thing. Try again. Try to get past the giant. Mm, still not a good opportunity. Eh. Well, not the best. I'll heal. 
time to try again. Right. No healing. Or no lock on. I honestly can't tell if it's making a difference. I'm trying. You've done fight. You've done it before, and it does make fights easier. Walking also restricts some movement. Won't be able to have a good old Omni movement. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't really seem to benefit me. But I'm also not that good at fighting without the lock-on. I'm spending more time trying to readjust myself than, than actually fighting the boss. I think it's more of a nerf to me than a nerf to the boss. Maybe it works better in other fights, but maybe not this one. Or I, I'm just not that good at it. Yeah, I, I feel like learning how to do how to fight without the lock-on might be something that I'm better off on a later playthrough when I already know what to expect and I'm already good at the game sort of thing as a way to get better. Ah, oh, damn it, I couldn't get away. I couldn't get past. Hey, look, I made it past him without getting hit. I think I'm just going to continue locking on. This boss is just very awkward. This is very tall. God, I, can, I can't time that right. Why did my attack stop? Uh, you're doing this. Okay. There we go. again. What? Why did my attack stop? No, get... Uh, I'm in the corner again.
again, try again. Okay, I did less damage for... I guess I didn't hit him correctly. So difficult to get around him. What the, I oh my god. Every time I try to get around him, I somehow like I either run into his legs so I can't actually get around. Or every time I successfully do it, he gets too far away. Before I could do my full charge. Why do I heavy attack? It's It does a lot of damage. It does a lot of damage. That's why I do it. I'll give it one more try. What the fuck just happened there? Sometimes I walk straight and then fucking takes a sharp, sharp turn. That is true. For some reason, this boss just, like, likes to dodge most of my attacks. Potion? Or potion? Potion. Maybe we'll try quick attacks until we've figure out a better opportunity to get a long one in there. Charge. Attack. Yeah. there one more? Nope. Okay. Potion? Nope. Yeah, like, the boss keeps dodging most of my heavy attacks. Maybe I'll just try to go with the quick ones. Time to try. Okay, I'm trapped in the corner. I need to back away, back away. There we go. No.
Phase two. Lucked out there. <sighs> I should have dodged that last one. I don't know why it freaking took our big Widowmaker to give it. What? Overwatch Classic Mode is currently live. So it's the 1.0 patch from Overwatch 1. So it's unbalanced. Okay, wait. So what's going on, Hawk Run Dog? I, I, that's honestly I think I'm done for today I'm you're playing Winston and try to use dive kill a widowmaker but failed so they're bringing overwatch one back but it's not even like the later updates of Overwatch 1. That's weird. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link to the about page. Uh, yeah, sorry, the stream was technically a little bit shorter because I started a little bit later. But, yeah, uh, kind of losing it right now. We're going to be slowly dropping the different meta eras from Overwatch as an event goes on. Oh, okay. Okay. But, yeah, see you tomorrow. We'll get back to this. I'll get Lauren. I'll get Lawrence. It's a matter of time. I'm just clearly not feeling it. Anyway, have a good day. Later.